Good day, guys. guys. Today we're eating the most iconic Australian food and snacks. Oh, right. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. I haven't tried half of these things, so I'm mm. super excited. Neither have I. So, uh, let's get grubbing. Oh, I like Shabu Shabu Udon Dessert. It's the Australian episode. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie. <laughs> so we haven't tried half of these items, snacks, foods, a whole bunch of different things we have here today. The most iconic, the Australian pie. An Aussie meat pie. Uh, I pies. love pie. She loves party pies. She always has a box in the freezer. These ones are not your traditional circular ones. We've yes. got the Long Johns. We've got a original steak and I also got a Philly cheesesteak one. So they do different things too. They also have a chicken spinach. one. Spinach. Spinach. And also a vegan friendly one, which yes. is, ooh. We've also got uh, snacks such as shapes. Very, very yes. uh, popular in Australia. So we Googled the most popular flavor for shapes and barbecue. barbecue came up. And I'm really shocked because I've only ever eaten pizza shapes. They're I've my favorite. I've only ever eaten chicken crimpy. It's baked, not fried. That's how they sell it. We're gonna have that. Uh, we've got cereal. Wheat bakes. Oh, yeah. This is also very dry. <laughs> I've never eaten this before. I always see it on TV commercials, but I've never ever eaten it before. Yeah. How many wheat bakes can you do? Zero, because I don't want to get dehydrated. If you eat this cereal on its own, you could possibly lose weight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we've got snags. We've got fairy bread. I'm going to start off with a snack. What do you want? A pie? I want a pie. I want a pie. I want you want a pie? pie. Pass me the snack. So, Australia. Born and raised. Lived here my whole entire life. Yes, we were born in Melbourne. Yep, born in Melbourne. Let's use our own personal cutlery set to work with these. What would you like? A chopstick or a fork? Um, we'll go fork because Aussies don't use oh. chopsticks. Snags are very uh, interesting because they're very simple to make, very easy. When it comes to a good snag, which are just sausages, make sure you get beef and very cheap. Get the cheapest beef sausage, fry it up, some grilled onions and tomato sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, see that? That's pretty much. Oh, wait, maybe I'll put some onion on top. It's, really? a, bit, it's a bit burnt. Yeah. Then that looks really fun. good. I want to make one too, actually. That's what the snagger looks like. Oops. Put some tomato sauce. I usually get these at Bunnings Warehouse. That's where the best sausages are. Oh, I thought you mean you get the tomato sauce at Bunnings Warehouse. No, no, no. I was no, like, no. what? Oh. Oh, yum. Mmm. Mmm. I used to always go with my dad to Bunnings Warehouse every weekend and we would always just get a sausage sizzle and obviously he'll look at like tools and stuff. Yeah, you're there for the food, he's there for the woods. Yeah. This is delicious. The sausage, very cheap. The snap, the flavours, delicious. So a trick I like to do is I always cut the sausage in half so I get double the amount. Whoa! Like I was saying, born and raised in Australia, lived here my whole entire life. Australia have some really nice people. A lot of different food, a lot of different people. Um, what I love most about Australia is, I think, when we come back from a trip, walking out the aeroplane, getting a whiff of that cold, crisp, delicious Australian air. It is so, especially because we go to Asian countries where it's a little bit smoggier. When you come here, you can actually feel like when you breathe in, your lungs actually get re revitalized. This is my pie. I got the Philly cheesesteak, that's what it looks like. You got minced meat inside. I love that Australia is very multicultural and we have a lot of multicultural things and food and people here. Mm. Have you experienced racism in Australia? Oh! Before? That sounds so good. Oh my god, it's melted cheese. Look at that. Oh wow. One time I was walking and a car drove past me. And they threw an apple at me and said, go back to China. These are really cheap too. It's like what? Two bucks? Three yeah, bucks? Yeah, that was like $2.50 or something. Yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. Mm. How's your sausage? Mm. Yeah? They're pretty awesome. So I mean, I feel like really blessed that we live in Australia. Next mm. up, I have something that is sold in Australia. They're sold in our super... Yeah, I know. It's good. Sold in our supermarket. Kangaroo meat. And kangaroo meat, I just don't understand. Kangaroos are like our national animal, right? Yeah. They're like the symbol of Australia, but we eat them. The Prime Minister of Australia went up to a kangaroo and was like, you know what? 
Oh, I'm gonna make you our national animal. And they're like, oh, that's cool. But we're also gonna eat you. But of course we have other national animals as well, oh. not just the kangaroo. Yeah, but we don't eat the platypus. We don't eat the emu, just the eggs. The kangaroo is something that we eat and is sold everywhere. It's sold do next people to the actually eat kangaroo? Like a Australians lot. that watch no. us, do you guys actually eat kangaroo? Do you guys go to Coles or Woolies and be like, yeah, I want some kangaroo for dinner tonight? Probably. It's a great source of protein. Um, it's known to be pretty gamey and tough, but overall similar to a strong smelling beef. But to be honest, I haven't had kangaroo meat for a long time. I've never had kangaroo and I never will eat kangaroo. That Aussie bush tucker. My God. Delicious, delicious. Hot. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Now we're gonna move into the stuff that we generally don't eat too much. For example, Vegemite, that's something that we never eat. It is very salty. Oh, I can't handle the smell. I mean, look at that. Ooh! <laughs> I know some people heat. love eating Vegemite for brekkie. There's a right way to eat this, and that's by toasting bread, um, a layer of butter, and then just maybe a tiny bit. Uh -huh. Just add a little saltiness and flavor to it. So don't use a lot of it. Everyone does the Vegemite challenge and they just get like a spoonful and eat it. Like that's not how it's supposed yeah. to be eaten. We also have this. This is amazing. I don't really understand what this is. But it's very popular in Australia and I ate it a lot when I was young. Yes, this is my childhood. Whoever came up with this is amazing. In fact, it is fairy bread. Fairy bread is basically bread, mm -hmm. butter, and then you sprinkle hundreds and thousands on it. So basically someone was baking one day and was like, you know what? I feel like some bread and butter. Let's put some sugar on it. Oh my God, it's delicious. I love hundreds and thousands. I used to always eat bread, butter, and sugar all the time at home. So this is just the same thing. Oh, it's pretty damn good. Mm. What the hell? Oh, it's so nostalgic. Brings me back to primary school. I remember when I first ate this. I don't know why, but I just remember. There was a birthday party, like a kid's birthday party, oh, obviously a white birthday. family. And then they made this, mm. like they made this as one of the dishes. And I was like, what is this? And then I ate it and I was like, this is amazing. And then I was like, how do you make it? Like, mm. I want to make it. And it's just butter and hundreds and thousands. And I was so mind blown. It's a good combo. It looks nice. It'll make your toddler go spastic. It's a guilty pleasure, that's for sure. And uh, I haven't had this for at least 15 years. Are you gonna eat your Vegemite? Do you want me to toast you? Huh? Guys, this is my toaster. Do you remember from the first vlogs? Growing up in Australia was pretty interesting because a majority of our friends would be white or Aussies. Really? Well, for me at least. Did you only hang out with the Asian kids or was it like really multicultural? Yeah, for it was me, multicultural, yeah. When I experienced Aussie parents for the first time, I was like mind blown. They're very chilled, very relaxed. When I hung out with cousins or Asian friends, their parents, like what I witnessed was always like some crazy, crazy shit. My Asian friend's parents, the second time I went to his house, their parents were fighting and yelling at each other and throwing oh, stuff at each other. Yeah. And I was like six and I was like, Oh my god! Oh! oh. <laughs> I don't think it's done yet. Yeah, do. No, it's gonna shock me again. That was really scary as a child, especially. But when I went to my Aussie friend's house, it was chill. They were like so relaxed and calm. I, I kind of wanted to get adopted. And I thought it was so weird that you get to keep your shoes on. Oh, I yeah. felt so uncomfortable. I remember I got to a friend's house and like he's just like, yeah, leave your. Uh, shoes on and stuff and then we're all just like chilling and yeah. it's just like with our shoes on and I was like oh this makes me feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> it's just an but Asian thing like we really can't wear shoes inside the house. We plastic wrap everything that's why. It's I mean if funny. Asian people could glad wrap the floors they would. So we got Tim Tams for our snacks as well. This is Delana's favorite. The original chocolate and this is my favorite white chocolate. Mm. This is the death of me. If I want to gain like five kilos I just get a few packets of this and I'm just like no, no, no. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's lo it looks like it already has Vegemite on it. I'm gonna do wheat beaks because Ooh, yeah. this is very interesting to me. And to be honest, I had it when I was a kid and I didn't really understand why it tasted like that. 
That's what they look like. Come on, guys. How can you eat that? That's like wood. <laughs> Why does it look so funny? You know IKEA wood? How many wheat beaks do I eat? I eat four. Bloody hell. Listen how delicious this is. Oh, it's so crunchy. Ah! I'm just dry! <laughs> it's like the cinnamon challenge! But people don't eat it on its own, right? One of the joys of eating cereal is that sometimes when you don't have milk, you can eat it like chips, such as Fruit Loops, mm. Cocoa Pops. But this, no. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, the uh, different culture clashes. So, I remember a time when I went to my Aussie friend's house. It was in high school, I think, year seven, year eight. Mm. Went there and they were about to have dinner. And they're like, oh, come join us for our dinner, you know? Have a, a roast. We're having a roast pork, roast something. I didn't know anything about what roast pork or roast chickens were because my parents never used the oven. I didn't even know if I had an oven mm. at the time. My oven was like storage. So the first time when I smelt the roast, it was like, it's like, Baking cookies, you get that aroma in the house. It just fills the room with like such a nice smell. And uh, they invited me to eat the roast and I would always decline. I would always say, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna eat at home. No, I don't wanna eat. Mm. I'll just wait here in the living room because I was taught from my parents not to ever eat food at my friend's house. Is that- Why? Why? Is that just me or is that an Asian thing? Because it's like manners slash also, you know, you don't wanna seem greedy or you don't wanna seem like we don't have money. Like I felt like my parents were like, we have food at home. We have, you don't have to eat at your friend's house because we have food at home. So what I'll do is while they're eating their roast in the dinner room, they could see me in the background, just sitting there like waiting, waiting for my friend to finish so we could really? play again. And I did that for so many years. Really? I never accepted food from any of my friend's family because my mom, nonstop, you go to your friend's house, make sure you don't eat there that's, because you go home to eat. You know, we have so we crazy. have food at home. <laughs> we have food at home. I yeah. always like eat at my friend's house and then go home and eat again because it's never enough for me. Yeah, I guess, oh my God, look at this. Look look what Wheat Beaks does. So when it soaks up, it turns into this mush. Oh, look at that. Oh, is this supposed to look that, like that? It looks like that, that's sure? what it looks like. Wish me luck. How is that still selling on the shelves? <laughs> I'm no. sure there's people out there that love no, yeah. wheat beaks. I'm not gonna roast know? on it. I know, I even know Asian people that like eating wheat beaks. I oh, saw really? like an Asian uncle buy a whole box Can the I other try day. try some please? Yeah, try it dry and then try it with. Okay, this is my first time ever eating wheat beaks. I mean, it sounds nice. It's got the ASMR, <laughs> ASMR effect, but. Oh, it just like makes your mouth so dry straight away. <laughs> I think a good way to eat wheat bix is like a bit of bit of sugar or honey. But um, look, you can put more milk in okay. if you don't believe me. It just really depends how you want to eat it. Like if you want to eat it like that. It, you know what it looks like? It looks like prison food. Have you seen this? Like if I was a prisoner, I expect to eat that. I'm pretty sure prisoners eat better than that. Where's my toast? Here's a little slice for you. Okay, that's smart. I like how you only gave me a little bit because I'm not going to eat a lot anyway. Yeah. That's wheat picks for you. Welcome to Australia. I think there's a proper way to eat it. Vegemite. Butter. So guys, let me know in the comments below if any of your parents didn't let you eat at your friend's house or was it just me? I don't know. It's hard because like Delana's family is like a white family. So we, there's not much we can relate to when it comes to childhood yeah. stories and memories. But for me, that's what happened. And I just remember times when I'll just be sitting there and it would smell so good. Like I never seen mashed potatoes before. I've never, I never smelled gravy before. You think Asian believe. people eat gravy? I can't believe you would just sit there while they're eating. Exactly. And now when I think about it, it must be so awkward for them. Yes. Imagine like we're eating with our family. Yeah, and there's and then a kid the child there. just sitting like an in the corner. Like an ethnic kid just sitting on the couch, just like. Oh. <laughs> there was one time when um, I was so hungry, my stomach growled and they could hear it in the kitchen. <laughs> And they're like, are you sure you don't want a, a plate, Johnny boy? I'm oh like, no, God. no, my mom said not to eat. Like, uh, I have food at home. I'm like crying. So I'm, it's so funny. I missed out on a lot of Aussie cuisine when I was a child. That's just insane. Vegemite sandwich, there you go. Some of my friends love eating Vegemite. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's got that, that really... 
dank taste. That's it's just really that's the only way I can describe Vegemite. Like I don't know this shit. It's so hard to explain what it tastes like if you've never eaten Vegemite before. I mean, it's not that bad. I think it's an acquired taste. I think the more you eat it, the more you'll like it. And because the first time, if you don't Ooh, like, give it a second chance, second bite was okay. <laughs> you want to have some shapes? Mm, I want to try this. This is a new flavor, and. <gasps> It's flavors you can see. It's in the shape of Australia. Oh, that's crazy. So these are baked They're goods. the normal ones, yeah. The shapes used to be a lot better. I think they've changed the recipe and now a lot of people have complained that shapes is not as good. That's crazy. Sure. This is so cute. Look guys, it's Australia. Not bad. I like it. I'd also like to update you guys about Australia's situation with the beerus right now. We're just calling it the beerus because we get demonetized mm. for it. It's like the beer virus. So we call it the beerus. Mm. Things are getting a little bit better. Mm. We can see a handful of our friends or family right now. Restaurants will be opening in the near future. It's not open yet. Half the shops are open. So that's our current situation. Uh, we're getting somewhere. I think Australia has done a great job when it comes to the beerus. Uh, you guys are amazing. Just self-isolation, quarantine, and just keeping everyone safe. And that's why we can go out and about and be living our normal lives really soon. Tim Tams, white. Everybody loves Tim Tams. <laughs> Foreigners always ask to eat or have Tim Tams. Oh. oh. Mm. How cool is this? It comes out in like really nice packaging. That's what it looks like. It's a biscuit, white chocolate with a cream in the middle. This, this is the best. This is incredible. We can literally oh. eat this whole thing in one sitting. Mm. Yeah. Buy it and then it'll be gone. It's so good! Arnott, you guys are amazing. Oh, so good. The original is my favorite. Mm. Mm. Wow. You can also dip it in milk. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Aussie way. Fred or Frog. And Caramello Koala, these are popular chocolates in Australia. See that koala, guys? Oh, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> and yeah, he's full of caramel. Fredo Frog! Remember this guy? Man, do kids still eat this stuff or? How's it? It's just like dairy milk. But our real dessert is this. Delicious. Pavlova! Happy birthday to you! It is someone's birthday today. Happy it is your birthday. birthday to you! Happy birthday. This is to you guys. Pavlova cake. This one's uh, decorated with passion fruit, kiwis and strawberries, some whipped cream. Pavlova cake is a meringue cake. Ooh. Meringue cake's like a very, very white sweet treat uh, made from egg whites and sugar pretty much mm. that's like the main ingredient i never eat these it's just not the right combination for me but i heard this originated from australia and new zealand i mean Ooh. they both eat it a lot so mm. let's not battle about who made this because i don't care i would just eat it i've never eaten a pavlova in my life so let's see that so i think it's like crispy on the outside really soft on the inside almost like a fluffy cloud of sugar Oh, oh! That looks insanely sweet. So it's not like a sponge or anything. So there's, is, is it just like that the whole way through? It's pretty good. It's really light. It's surprisingly really light. It's very sweet though, but it's really airy, kind of bubbly inside. This is really strange. And I don't think you really like sugary sweets. Mm. Interesting. Like you can't go through a whole cake. It's, it's not possible, but... I mean, the texture is really interesting. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was all of our Australian food and snacks. I would yeah. say my favorite things were the pie. Oh, the pie's so good. Oh my God. I think it was better than the circle ones. Yeah, it was I, actually pretty good. And it's easier to eat. When you eat a circle one, it kind of like falls everywhere, the sides. And, and it's like a really good ratio. My least favorite thing would have to be the wheat bix Yeah. That's just not doing it for me. I'm going to give that to... My sister. I thought you were going to say your dad because you always say you want to give it to your dad. Yeah, but... Like, every time you know like something, I'll give it to my dad. I like my dad too much to give him that. <laughs> He'll be like, what is this? I haven't seen you for two weeks. You give me wheat beaks? Get out of here. Make it three weeks. If you're ever coming down to Australia, I would highly recommend eating Tim Tams for a snack and having a snack. Why Bunnings, not? Bunnings, where? How? Thanks for watching the Australian Iconic Foods. I hope you enjoyed it.
Crikey, we had a great time. Thanks, mates. What What's the slang word for thank you for Aussies? Cheers. Oh, cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. We'll see you Have next time. Have a great time. day. Yeah. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs>